Hey, it's Rich back with you for another video. Today I'm with a Technam P2012 Traveler. It's a 10 place commuter airplane built in Italy. Uh, their pilot, Francesco's here. We're gonna take it up and take you up for a ride. Okay, to start up up here, um, we have the up panel, all of the switches for uh, takeoff and landing are going to be flipped backwards. Okay. So this is like, you know, is intuitive, same for the fuel system. We have to call up the engine page, and thus do a fuel pump check for the auxiliary pumps. And we got some uh, positive fuel indication, it takes a while when the engine is warm, just because of the fuel density. Mm -hmm. We put them off. The closed ignition switches, we are looking at the pressure and the two engine electronic control system that will light off. Okay. Once we are done with that, we have the parking brake down here, which is set off with brake, brake, brake pedal pressure. Okay. And then we just start up, you know, three, four seconds aside, three, four seconds the other side. And that's the power levers all the way. Yeah. Okay. All right, clear. Absolutely increasing power. We'll bring it to around a thousand RPM. And I'm putting on the two field switch for a DC power. I'll set the flaps takeoff. All right, now I'll taxi. You have controls? I got controls. So while taxiing, one of the advantages of the TEO540 is that the electronic engine can make the run up by himself. So right. We don't have to do any magneto check, mixture check, everything is going to be taken care of by the engine electronic control system. Now, in order to do that, we can either go to the run-up area, push power somewhere around 15 to 1700, and push the two black button on the EECS control panel. That's going to do the entire run-up. And how long does that take? Uh, it takes about 1 minute 30 seconds. So it's pretty fast. Yep. Uh, there is no limitation on uh, oil temperature for the run-up, so even if the oil is cold, you can still do the run-up. You have to only pay attention for the oil pressure when the engine is very cold, so that you don't go in the yellow range of the oil pressure, which is going to interrupt the engine run-up. So, when it is warm, like today, you can do it immediately after start-up. When it is a cold day, it takes, you know, one minute, one and a half minute of warm-up before you could actually do the run All Right. Now, is that an every flight, or is that a... First flight of the day. No, we do it. On, we do it on every flight. Every flight. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to the run-up yeah. because this is a modern uh, setup for this 540, right? Yep. There's a lot of things in here that are uh, pretty advanced for a, a piston twins. Let's kind of go through this, or see how it uh, how this run-up goes. We're going to be looking right. That's all right. Taxi's really nice. It's got a really big, heavy airplane feel. Yep. All right, we'll come to up right here. So I'll let you just run through this check, and, and what I want to pay particular attention to is the engine control system, because that's really what's different on most piston twins, right? Yep. So I'm just, you know, adding 90 volt to get to 1500 RPM. Yeah, we can lower this. Okay. Roughly 15 to 17, it doesn't have to be precise. 15 to 17 RPMs. Yeah. Here. I'm just going to have to ask you to press for one second, blow both the two black bottles there. Here? Yep. And Let release. It and now it's starting the pre flight check. You will hear that now, for example, is leaning. You will hear the magnetos check. Right, we will do its own things, checking all of the systems of both engines. Now, is this a Technam uh, engine control system, or is this like homing? It's like homing. Coming. So it's basically going through a sequence of checks on the motors. 
for everything is uh, is uh, within the normal range, and those lights go out. Yep. That's what you would normally be doing when you you know you are leaning, you are yeah. checking the magnetos, etc. Once that is extinguished, we will only need to check the prop governor. So we will do the classic three uh, check on the prop uh, governor to the feather range. That's it. Usually, we have this uh, check during taxi because you're just you don't need to do any specific task. So you can do it during taxi, and it will uh, uh, reduce a lot the ground ups time. Right. right after you pull out the yeah, that's it. So, so those those are out. Yep. Back in 1500, we got a normal uh, indication. I'll just do the checks. I'll yeah. do that together. I don't go one at a time. I'll just check, you know, the classic manifold oil pressure yeah. and RPM behavior. Nice. Really nice and roomy. Yep. A lot of room. There's some nice uh, storage and... Storage, have some doors. storage space, storage in the door, you have two USB ports. This is an option, the FMS. If you don't buy it, uh, you get a wireless charger for the phone, like, you know, pocket. And nice. if you look up, just with a glance, uh, you can see that we are all set for takeoff. Yeah, I like it. Really a nice, modern feel, very comfortable. Very comfortable seats. Good feel to it. Clear for takeoff, 26 left, uh, 212 uniform here. Long Beach, Dallas, Sky, 660, Sierra Papa, in sequence, 26 left, uh, with like left close traffic. Okay, so we're going to do a short takeoff. I'm going to bring the uh, power up, yeah, power release up the, the brakes, brakes, and we'll just slowly come back and yep. get, get it off the ground. System 4, Charlie Victor, 1, 2, 6 left, third land. Follow me through. Number 66 Delta Sable, we'll just start us up on turn now. Cross the turn right now uh, with the river 6 Delta. Our power's coming. Yeah, you can go all the way up and hold it, it's going to take a while to get 100%. Sequence 26 left for electric river. 724 All the way. Everything uh, looks green. 20% to go. 66 Delta Frequency, change your boost. Let it go. So, is it off? You can pull it, you can pull it. And just keep 0.7 AOE, all the way up. And now we are off our obstacles again. Ease it off and uh, raise the flaps. Okay, we're going to do a short takeoff and then we'll do Expect a slight pitch change, and from now on, you are not touching anymore the throttle, you fly with the props. Okay. So if you need to retard power, just retard the props to about 2400. Pitching for the takeoff command bar setting, that's getting me about 130 minutes. Yep. The engine turbocharged, they provide constant power to 10,000 feet. So we're going to keep the same VVI up to 10,000 feet if we want. And that's also going to be the single engine seating of the aircraft at max takeoff weight. It will eventually increase to 14,000, uh, 16,000 when we are mid weight like today. Great. So our uh, yellow cast message is torpedo heaters. Yeah, that's off. just that we don't need giving them. us the advisory. So I'll go in a cruise configuration, completing the after takeoff is fuel pumps auto, and we switch up landing light. That's it. So we just go auto on the pumps and and landing light. Okay, so Francesco, uh, so this airplane's kind of a unique configuration: fixed gear, non-pressurized twin. It's got a lot of room in the back. Yep. So what what's the primary uh, primary yeah, we are the conflicted. I can see the track line here. We'll cross in front of him. So, what's the primary mission? Or give me a couple of primary missions. Uh, obviously, we got uh, 10 seats in the back, so commuter, yep. short hop type yep. uh, uh, mission, uh, potentially a short uh, takeoff and landing capability. 
Yeah, if you consider that uh, the run environment is approximately 1500 feet at uh, max gross weight, for sure we have short field capabilities. Uh, certainly, it's, you know, high duty cycle, so short hopping is great. Yeah. That's why the design of the fixed gear and a pressurized cabin to keep low the maintenance cost, to keep away any potential cycle limitation on its use. And also, uh, for small operators, the multivision capability with uh, cargo, combi conversion kit, medevac for air ambulance conversion kit, even parachute jumping. Right. So if you acquire a single frame, like you know the one we are flying, that's a 2 plus 9 seats configuration, you can still convert it with any of the quick conversion kit that we have. So that's one family of P-2012. The other family is the special mission platform one, which is based on a configuration with five operators, two pilots, up to two pilots, it's single pilot rated, uh, and two hatches with mission power. In that case, you can install uh, almost any side sensor up to a 20-inch EOIR payload. You can have, you know, ground radar, uh, search radar, uh, all sorts of equipment like uh, AIS, direction finder, etc., to provide a special mission platform capability. Also, any type of terrain mapping payload, ground mapping payload can be installed on the frame. And the 120 volts, uh, 120 amps, at 28 volt DC, they provide power for almost anything you need to right. power in this right. size. How about like a executive, more of an executive configuration in the back where you take out some seats? Or that, yeah, take them as, as, as design, uh, uh, we call it VIP, that's a 2 plus 5 seat configuration with club seating. Yep. There is a small lavatory which takes uh, half of the luggage compartment. Uh, we got some trays, we had infotainment, so. Uh, there is a version that's dedicated to those customers who need to get maybe on unprepared surface, short, short field, grass landing, gravel landing, but still want to have the comfort and still want to have the capability of a club configuration and a VIP comfort seat. Great. Very nice. And then, uh, obviously for law enforcement, you know, you might have some loitering, observations, camera equipment. So. If you're in a loiter configuration, we'll do that maybe up here. What 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 uh, endurance? Well, with the full fuel, uh, it gets to eight eight and a half hour plus a reserve. Right. Uh, so it's it's capable of loitering a lot. Uh, the fuel burn gets very low, and it can stay there at 100 110 knots for you know eight hours on stage. Nice. Okay, we're a thousand feet from uh, 6,500. I'm gonna yeah. this up and go to head. Yeah, that's Let's just turn you up on. And I, I was hand flying that. I've never flown this airplane before, but it's all, it's so stable. It's you know very. You don't really have to do anything. It's almost like the autopilot was on, it wasn't yeah. on. We're climbing at 120 knots on this. Uh, what, what's our 84 uh, percent power? Yeah, no, uh, that's pretty typical. Yep. And we're doing uh, 120 knots, we're getting about a thousand feet a minute. Out uh, of 6,000. And the noise level, really nice. Well, you'll see by lowering the uh, RPM, the maximum we get is 85 dBs at full power. It gets much wider uh, during cruise, uh, below 2200, 2100 RPM. So that's the sweet spot for cruising. And it's also very comfortable for the passenger. You, you can talk each other without, you know, yelling. Yeah. And, and uh, so at 6,500 feet, we're going to level off. Well, so we're going to let accelerate, and then we're going to pull the uh, power back to what's a typical cruise uh, configuration for. Uh, we can select, you know, an efficient configuration like uh, 2150 RPM. Okay. Want me to do that? Let it let it accelerate out a little bit, or do you want to just pull it back now? Yeah. Go ahead and do it. So we're setting the power with the uh, the props, the props, which is a little different than you know conventional. It, it takes five minutes to get used to it. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Kind of nice. So we're coming back here to uh, 65 percent. Ish. Okay. We're up, up to 105 knots true. Or on what's our fuel flow? We got 153 of true airspeed, and we have 22, uh, 23, and 8. So we got just a little bit of splitting here because of manifold and RPM. Right. So right about uh, 
40 gallons an hour. Yeah, Typical for 540s, but these are 375 horsepower, right? Yep. Turbocharged uh, TFO 540s. So if we cruise this thing at, at a at a gross weight with full, uh, let's say we got uh, eight 200 pounders in the back and a fuel for uh, let's say two and a half hours yep. at 155 knots. That's 300. Call it, you know, 400 nautical miles almost. Easy. And it's uh, pretty nice. That's you know a good. That probably exceeds the range that this airplane would typically do, but you could do it with a full load. Oh yes. Nice. Uh, with a full load of pas passenger, you can make up to 600 miles if you go to a lower power setting. Right. Really comfortable. How's it back there, Kai? You rode around nice. It? Very quiet. All right. I'm going to hand fly it a little bit. So. Yep. director up. Really a nice flying airplane. If you had to pick out a strength, obviously this airplane's kind of utilitarian. It does a lot of things well, but what's the, what would you say the strength of this airplane is? Reliability with fixed gear, no pressurization. Yeah, the piston we, we use the word dream. That's durable, reliable, employable, affordable, and manageable. Ah, nice. Small here. Yep. Hopefully the cameras will stay on. Yeah. Because it's going to get some shaking. So, I'll just set the fuel pumps on for a redundancy. Area looks clear. We're not going to go into the sun, so we just do a check that we're not stalling on anybody down here. Here, left and right. Thank you. So we have several indications. We have the AO gauge, we have the stall warning, and then the aircraft uh, body behavior. Right. So we are starting to slow down. I'll keep a slight descent just to have a uh, pre progressive stall. We are getting 2.8. Let's get in the first cast message. Now we completely stalled the wing. And look, now we are stalled, but I'm still capable of flying. Yep. I can go left, I can go right, so even when the wing is completely stalled, its flying qualities allow us to fly it around. Let me try that. You have controls? Power's, power's off. Yep. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, pulling. Now you are completely stalled, but you are still flying it. Yeah, nice. I didn't need a lot of inputs. Covers nicely. Now, if possible, if you wish, I would like to demo you another thing. Okay, go ahead. Which is a full power install. Okay. Which not a lot of twin uh, can uh, sustain with two right turning props. Max takeoff power. Yep. That's the trim control switch. So now we are setting it up for a full power on stall. A little bit of right rudder correction. If you look off your left, we are on a single engine. Whenever you want, you have the controls. Okay, I got it. There is a little bit of residual rudder to the right. Gee. <laughs> I even hardly tell you about it. No, I, I had some uh, rudder input yeah. in after that, but sure, this is the engine free. You don't have any big departure. I mean, anything. for a piston twin, I mean, you usually have a lot of... Uh, oh, yeah. Really nice. And also, the electronic engine is helpful for the restart. Just tell me when you want to have it started again. Okay, let's start it. 
I just Stand put the propeller half the way through, a little bit of throttle, I close the switch and wait for that ECS to complete the check, and then I'm staying on the, I, I've switched off all of the electric so that I can have all of the amps for the engine start, and I need 10 seconds of this. That's it. Pretty easy for a... Very nice. That's impressive, really is. No? So, the, the stall quality, the power on stall quality, and the single engine failure and handling can tell you something about the aerodynamics and the direction yeah, and lateral stability of the airplane. Okay, so that's a quick overview of this uh, P-2012. It's a really impressive airplane. And uh, you know, it's got a, obviously a wide range of potential customers. You have 10 seats and get somebody in a short, or a lot of people short distance, uh, very economically. And, uh, and then, you know, a bunch of other operations. You know, G-1000, uh, Lycoming 540s, Fixed gear, non-pressurized. It just does a lot. I mean, it does a lot of things well in the, uh, with a lot of the conventional equipment that we're used to. Uh, you know, I was really impressed with the stall. The single, the single engine was really, uh, really unbelievable. Nice Great airplane. Thanks for flying with us. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Good. Good. <coughs> so the shutdown is the best way to Wow, that is easy.